the word of grace, the word that makes the difference, the word that brings the youth, the word that sets the taxes free. Send the word Jesus. Let the entrance of the word give us light. Give us understanding that we may be. Yeah, that's 
in your house. With your son and say, so that not washing my legs. And you say, in your heart, say the truth. When you say, oh, you're not going to go asleep. Don't walk. Every woman of the demons must be a servant. A servant of God. So you can take anything and not say, this church, they are going to die, and they go again. A servant of God does not see offenses. They still say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Right. 
and you want to give up. A woman of faith don't give up. How many times have you tried to tell your husband that you think it's so difficult? How many times have you tried to tell your children that you think are so difficult? How many times have you said God faithfully and you think God has forgotten you? Keep trying. The blow that we set on you, may you not lift before you make that blow in the name of Jesus. May you not walk away before you do that thing that will break heaven open for you in the name of Jesus. You must hold on to your faith and keep pressing. I kill every hallelujah. Glory to God. A woman of faith, I let you in the house. Glory to God. Amen. A woman of faith, a different spirit, does not see what the world sees, but what God says. Does not see the situation, the economy of the land, but what God says. Does not see that I don't have president packets or anything. I cannot make it. But God said I can make it, I believe it. I'm not seeing my menstrual period again. I don't think I can have children. God says no will be married. I believe it and I hold on to it. There's no more job in the land. That is not for us. That is not for us. For us, there is enough job we select. That is what God says. And when you stand on it, you see it coming through for you. You see it happening to you. Yet people are complaining that they say, there's meltdown, there's problem. You will be saying there's this thing. If you hold on to the word of faith that God has given unto you. A woman with a difference is a woman of faith. She is a woman that follows God fully. Numbers chapter 11, 14 verses 2 I mean. My servant Caleb is a man with a different spirit and has followed me fully. Are you following God fully? You cannot be a woman with a different spirit and not following God fully. You have to hold on to God fully, 100%, not 99. This 1% is just a bit trust God for this area. Let's just hold on to this area. No, it's 100% fully. Until you follow him fully, you cannot enter into the promised land. Neither can your children and your feet on your blessing. You must be ready to follow the Lord all actively. Not come to church and take it out to the mother and go and check that little doctor. Not come to church and sit through your home and come up by the wayside and say you are trying to help God. God does not need your help. You need his help. So you must all come to this God fully, not partially. And so that's what I see most of the people. Treat God. Look for response to God. I'll be wondering, do they have another and other like a service from here? Because the attitude is showing that probably they have something else that they are putting their trust in. Because if it is only this God that you put your trust in, you will respond to him better than you are responding now. You will not treat him nonchalantly. You will not keep at all when service is going on. You will not play around when they say tight. You will not play around when they say obey God. You will concentrate fully, whatever he says you will do. That is what Saman is doing. Then he said to the Saman, whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. And Jesus said, Help is just, put water in it. They did not say, Ah, Jesus, it's wine inside that looking for not water. A Saman does whatever he or she is asked to do. So whatever God is asking you to do, you must be ready to do it and do it fully, 100% obedience. Not halfway obedience. Bring tight. Say 100 euros too much for God. Let's give you 50 euros. Everybody come and I come and you don't know. That is half obedience. It does not pay. You want it to pay? 100% obedience is required for you to enter into the promise. A woman with a difference. If you want to be that, then you must be ready to follow God's rule. Not halfway. Five different examples of women with a difference. We have number one, Rhea. Oh, our sister. <laughs> Bible says everyone that has touched their vessels, God be used. Our women did that. Thank God. God has left her to point out a vessel. And God used that here to find powerful. She gave a powerful word. If you missed it, please go to Realm of Grace Ministries on YouTube and listen to that message. So I'm not going to repeat what she has said. I'm just going to add to it. So if you miss what she said, you need to go and listen to it. You get it. Hallelujah. Prayer was a woman of faith. She had faith in the God of Israel. And therefore she chose to fight on the winning side. The winning side is the lost side. Somebody said the winning side is the lost side. The lost side. Don't ever fight against God. Fight on the lost side. She wasn't an Israelite. It was her own land that we were coming to take. Naturally, she would snap her king and say, I'm not going to show you for her, but 
that place. Tell somebody, my place will not be taken in the name of Jesus. And you don't need to. My place will not be taken in the name of Jesus. She wasn't an Israelite, like she just heard. And from that, she understood that ah, this God that is able to do all these things. There is no way my king and my people will fight this God and succeed. She was even a prostitute. So it doesn't matter your states. All you need is belief. Set up your faith in this living God. Remember what he has done in the past. And choose to honor and follow him obediently. And then you will partake of the blessings. She said, you have heard it. So I choose to fight on the winning side. Because the Lord's side is the winning side. So let me talk to you women in the house. And everyone will understand that my voice. When people bring issues to you, please choose to fight on the Lord's side. When people bring gossip to you, please choose to fight on the Lord's side. It doesn't matter whether that person is your best friend. It doesn't matter who that person is to you. This is our own land, our own people, our own king, our own family. But she chose to fight on the Lord's side because she knew that the Lord's side is the winning side. The reason why they pass up is to defeat because they are fighting on the wrong side. Look at the king, Jehoshaphat, that chose to call on that king to walk. Matter with not on silence. They say, come, come to that world. Hey, what was you with them? How can they do that to you? Let's come with them. Don't carry a matter that does not have in your head. Don't carry judgment. Judge, is this God? Is this not God? If it is God, I beg you, carry this matter to I choose to fight on the wrong side. So many people are fighting on the wrong side and they are incurring judgment upon their head. Fight on the Lord's side. And then, but choose to stay on the Lord's side. Don't support a person that is trying to fight God because the person can only. And Joshua Pat went on the wrong battle. And if not for God, he would have died in that battle. So a woman with a difference is the one that has faith enough to fight on the Lord's side, to stand before and choose that I will serve the Lord, no matter what every other person is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody hearing me? I tell you, they didn't hear that. But I say, I hear you. I hear you. Glory to God. She's a woman of faith, she's a woman that follows God fully. Prayer chose to fight on the Lord's side, and then she committed them. And say, when you win, make sure you remember me. Joshua chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. You have the story there. Another woman of faith and a woman that followed God through his roots. Even though she knew that after death, she had freedom to walk away. Even the old man that was an Israelite like, did not see any hope. Did not have faith. She said, Nothing. I don't have anything. In short, my name is no more sweetness. Call me bitterness. That was a word without faith. But a Moabite woman that wasn't an Israelite. Ha. When Jesus said that the sons of men, they are losing it at home, they are losing heart. I mean, the sons of God, and the sons of men are taking over. He wasn't joking, you know. Many people inside the church, inside the church, and so we be looking at their eyes. Blessings will be passing them like this. Why? Because they are doing this thing. That's now we need. Outsiders will see and come and blame and blame the blessing.
him. The man will be different. You will start that in your family. Where in your family people cannot spend their husbands and their family ones that want two, three husbands? You will make a difference and stay. And the grace of God will back you up because you choose to honor the word of God. The grace of God will back you up. Yet people are impatient and praying in their homes. You stand with a difference and say, no, we are in, we are in. So long as God is there, we go all the way. That person said, that somebody said, we die here. Let your die here be with God. We die here and go nowhere and be with God. If I perish, I perish, let me start. She took us the comfort of the palace and said, no matter what happens, we are not going to keep going. She chose to take all our people, the people of God. They said, even if I have to die, let me die. That is faith in God. She didn't mind losing her life. Instead of the comfort of the palace. Some of us, we have that kind of comfort. We will forget God. We are sending God for blessing. And he has blessed us over by God. He has blessed us. She was blessed. She was number one baby in the whole kingdom. Yet she chose to be stand on the Lord's side. That is somebody that follows God through. That man cannot separate from God. Some people see each other now, they forget God. Europe, they pray this, Europe, they ask me that people are going to lead us. They forget God. Esther was often a strange man, just like you and I. And the comfort of the palace did not make her forget God. She followed God through me, even in her comfort, and chose to stand and die with God and to be with the king. May you be that woman that chooses to stand with God all the way in the name of Jesus. And why would, her be, why would she be favored before the king when she chooses to do what God has called her to do? Hallelujah. You have the story of Ruth. In the scriptures, Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. And we have the story of Esther. In the scripture, in Esther chapter 4, verse 16. Glory to God. We'll take some other examples and then we'll round up. We'll take the example of the widow of one of the sons of the prophet, as recorded in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 17. That will say that the husband died and left her in death. I don't know your situation with your husband right now. I know that there are some women that are battling with their husbands in terms of finance and the running of the own responsibilities. Don't give up on God. God will come true for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be back in the time, you may not be here, 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 see now, see death every year, see now what we need, see now see what we go through, see now what we listen to, we will not suffer this. If you are going through that as a woman, please don't give up on that your husband. And don't give up on God. Don't fight him. Go to God in the place of prayer. And God will correct that head in the name of Jesus. So I think that I to go smooth for you in the name of Jesus. Fight like Sarah. That went to God. And God called Abraham and said, Go to what your wife said. And God gave you that grace to be that woman with a difference. That will not fight in blow. That will not fight by breaking all the things of the house. That will not fight with malice. That will not fight with his sin. That will not fight with denying the man food after food. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? That will not fight with any of that thing. But fight in the name of the Lord. In the place of prayer, as one that is. Father, talk to him. The heart of the king is in your hands. Change his heart. Help him to hear me. Help him to listen to me from giving him to that price. And God will turn it around for you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Everyone that is going through such, the God of grace will turn it around for you in the name of Jesus. This widow of the son of the prophets was going through that. So the point that the old man died and left death every day. And the credit of said, we are going to take two of your sons to be our servants, born men. Was that bad? You want to pay the debt of human lives. And what did she do? I was that she ran to Elisha and said, You know my husband, man of God. And then I asked myself, This man of God, this son of the prophet, did he not know Elijah before he died? Why did he not go to Elijah? Why did he have to die in poverty when there was a man? Right inside the church, right inside the church. 
Me say, if hey, the man of God and the man of God to rule all of us are men of God, you don't need to tell the pastor everything. We are teaching you to grow in the Lord before handling your situations. But please, when it passes you, no grace pass grace. Anointing pass anointing. Power pass power. When you don't pray, no more. Please run to your man of God.
verse 7 to 6. She said, We are going to eat this last one, and then we die. And the man of God said, Go and bring for me first. And the Bible said, All to that manner, the Lord sustained her because she obeyed. That's a woman of faith. If you are not empty for God, you don't have faith yet. If you are not put everything in the hand of God, you don't have faith yet. You still think that you can gather and do it by yourself. Then you see that gather it and yet have nothing. Then you see that Santa is a demon and yet has surplus. That is how it works, so that's how our faith works. It's not in Titanic, it's in being liberal. But liberal shall be made fast, said the Lord. If you want to make a difference, be liberal towards God. Give it all, give it all, give it all, give everything, give everything. Anna, in fact, how much chapter 1, verse 9 to 28, was a woman of faith. A woman that followed God fully. I said, don't worry. Me, myself, I'm all down there. I will get some for you. Don't worry. Don't tell you how some of us, you are still my wife. I love you all the same. But he had another wife that had children. And Anna said, no, 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 no. This monk is too much. I'm taking it to God. God alone. She laid it down before God. The woman is not worrying me. Because there's something already that he's counting on. Me, I go meet this God. And she met God and she returned to Samuel and many other children because she gave that Samuel to God. A whole life she gave to God. And then God blessed her with many other children ever after. We may not pay, know how to give it all to God and surrender it all to God and follow it fully. And so that's how they make a difference. And you too can step into that category of making a difference as you fully follow God by faith and lay it all at his feet in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. She said, Be unto me according to your word. She surrendered it all to God. That is how to be a woman of faith. That is how to surrender to the will of God. If God says do it, I do it without looking back. If God says bring it, I bring it without looking back. If it's God that said I obey it without checking, 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 are you sure they are not deceiving us? If you see it in the scripture, then follow it. Obey it. And you will return testimony. But an angel that brought it to her and she obeyed. She didn't leave God to come by herself. So you don't need God to come and say, God, if God tell me face to face, that is when I will do it. God is talking to you now. Because you pray that the Father speak to me. Father is speaking to you now through this little lady in front of you. Please hear him and obey him. And you return with testimony in the name of Jesus. Mary and her pastor boss. In Matthew 26, verse 6 to 13, she was there to honor Jesus with all that life savings. Everything that she ever got from her prostitution, she poured it at the feet of Jesus. I don't know why you came to Europe. It doesn't matter whether you be a husband on the street before. It doesn't matter whether you are even still husband now. But if you are willing and ready to lay it at the feet of Jesus, Jesus is willing and ready to remove it from that street and settle you in your own home. We have seen testimonies upon testimonies of people that were husband on the street in this church. But today we are zero free of such. We taught them this same word we are teaching now. They obeyed it. And God changed their story. God settled them in their homes. God blessed them with other things, documents, jobs, and they don't have to go to the streets again to sell. I pray that the word of God that has come to you today, like Mary Madeline, you will bring it all at his feet. Yeah. Everything that you have, that you have gathered by your own strength, by your own understanding, as you surrender. Jesus said, as long as this head remains, and wherever this gospel will be preached, the name of this woman will be mentioned. She made a difference in our generation. See, today we are talking about her. There were so many other prostitutes in our days. We didn't hear about her, but we are still hearing about Mary because of what she did. She broke it all at the feet of Jesus. Are you ready to break it all at the feet of faith? Are you ready to break it and surrender it to me by faith? Are you ready to follow it fully and see it come true for you? Then what Mary testified of? What these women testified of? You two will testify of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. A woman with a difference. In Proverbs chapter 31, from the to the end, we hear of a righteous woman. 
She's a woman that does not need the bread of kindness. Get to hand to walk. Get to hand to walk. Get to hand to walk. Don't ever be in that position that you're fully dependent. Put your hands to walk so that God will have something to bless. And that way you make a difference. You become a strong support. You know that men say that they are a support and a builder. And all of those men and their understanding. It means, therefore, that they will support their wife to succeed in life. You will not put it in my hand. Yeah, yeah, see that I'm not up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have money, you're not me, 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 you are not me 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 you are
Jesus. Daddy, please help me and bless us. Let me bless us with this message. Please welcome our daddy in the Lord. To the clap of to Jesus. I say, God needs to be around us and share with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's pray to stretch around to us. And Lord, we thank you for this word that has come upon us. We ask, O oh Lord, that this word find expressions in our destiny, in our marriage, in our expectation, in our project, in our health, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every goodness that are attached with this word this morning, Lord, let it intertwine with our destiny. Let it interwoven our lives to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. Let every satanic orchestrations, Lord Almighty, that have been programmed and projected in the hell against us, Lord, by the virtue of this war, we annihilate them all in the name of Jesus. Let this word, Lord, transform our destiny inside out. Let every power that eats the words of God in mind be frustrated to silence. Let everyone under the sound of voice that have heard this word this morning, Lord. Today, my God, let this word make a difference in your life. Let it make a difference in your life. That from today, men and women will see you with that eye of a difference. In the name of Jesus, that what you lay your hands upon, you will make a difference. Wherever you go, you make a difference. Men and women will see you and see the difference of God in you. In Jesus' mighty name, have a prayer. A round of applause for Jesus.